Dear brothers and sisters of First Lutheran Church, grace and peace to you from God our Father and from our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. When Jesus' ministry begins to unfold in all of its out-of-this-world, full-fledged wonder for the world, bringing healing into the midst of human brokenness, the disciples gradually come to the question that's at the heart of the Lord's Prayer. Where's he coming from? What makes Jesus so steadfastly centered in the midst of life storms, taking all the waves of adversity upon himself? And so they watch Jesus more closely as they continue to follow as disciples. And what do they see? Jesus prays at an exorcism. Jesus prays at the raising of the little girl from the dead. Jesus prays even for his enemies, and he prays before a healing and for unity among his disciples. Jesus prays on the Mount of Transfiguration, and Jesus prays in the Garden of Gethsemane before his crucifixion. So <laughs> that's it, say the disciples. Jesus' power for healing and compassionate teaching comes out of his praying. And so they ask Jesus, in Luke chapter 11 and again in Matthew 6, Lord, teach us how to pray. Family and friends of First Lutheran Church, the Lord's Prayer is at once a very simple yet profound prayer, and it unfolds our whole life of prayer as we pray for God's people, God's children throughout all of God's creation, of all tribes and nations, and all who struggle with disease, whether in body, mind, or spirit. As well, we pray again this day for those known to us, near to us, as brothers and sisters of First Lutheran. And so let us pray. O God, our great physician, healer of our ill, of our every ill, we pray for those members of your body, the church, in this place. And so those who are known to us, near and dear to us, as brothers and sisters in Christ, we pray for Dick Beam and Bob Janowski, for Frank Hansen and Rochelle Hink, for Bonnie Older and Gary Olson, for John Sinning and Sonia Carlberg, Barb Entringer and Millie Pearson, for Jeffrey Wardell and all those whom we now name in our hearts. Lord, we pray also that you would grant a special measure of your resurrecting peace and hope for Deb Cook and family at the death of her beloved sister, Jane Nelson. All your children, Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, who has taught us to pray again this day. And please join me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. God's richest blessings on you this day and always. The Lord be with you. God bless.